Hey, vlog people. I just finished doing a Taco Bell review. And unfortunately, like everything was good, but I ended off the meal with those curly uh, churros. And uh, I remember in the people from the state saying, here's all the items that Taco Bell was taking off the menu. And if they had taken churros off the menu, I would have been fine with that because they're leaving as nasty, metal tasting, tinny taste in my mouth and it's completely rocked the meal. And uh, so let me know if you've been to a Taco Bell and you've had the churros. Tell me if you like them or not. They, when you first bite into it, it's kind of cool. It's crispy, fun to eat. You get that cinnamon, the sugar. I'm gonna start the car and, and keep going so we can get home and edit. But then after a couple seconds, that tinny, nasty <coughs> taste starts coming through and uh, it's not it's not pleasant at all. Like I said, it, it completely wrecked my meal. And, and just straight up hard shell tacos I don't I don't like them never have um, I've eaten them for for videos and stuff but soft shell soft shell tacos and then the corn soft shell corn tortillas the tortillas taco shells they're, they're my favorite <clears throat> I like both of them I think I prefer the corn over the, f the flour. But let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. I always always love your feedback. Anyway, that's uh, that's what I did. So uh, this morning, got up, um, did some editing and stuff, and um, then I got myself ready to go give blood at the Canadian Blood Services. Uh, again, in the food video, I'm, I'm pimping out <laughs> uh, blood Canada Blood Services. If you have the time and you're have all the right qualifications to give blood, consider giving blood. It's it's good for you to get rid of some of that old nasty three month old blood. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it helps people out. I think every every donation helps save up to three lives or five lives. I always forget the number. It shouldn't be a, a too difficult number to remember but depending on how they separate your blood and use your blood depends on how many people they use it to help save somebody's life uh, that's in surgery or as an accident and all that stuff so the more people we have given blood the more likely that if you're ever in an accident uh, then you'll be good to go because they'll have so much blood in reserve I went with the Baja drink this time, but again, my, my whenever I see it, it just looks like it's like a Gatorade kind of drink, like a juice and not carbonated. And then you take the sip, tastes good, but uh, I, I prefer it not to be carbonated, I think. Do the Baja, please change it. Somebody, somebody change it. So right now my left arm doesn't want to bend and uh, because I've got the after you give blood and they take the needle out, they uh, wrap it with a, like a tensor bandage, a disposable tensor bandage. And uh, this helps keep, in, keep the bruising down, keeps the pressure on, stops you from bleeding to death. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments below how many of you guys out there give blood. I know some of you can't because of health issues. Uh, you don't have to get into that if you don't want to. I'm not prying. Don't put out any in private information um, in my comments. Just you say, you know, I'd love to get blood, but I just can't. Health reasons. Okay, got it. Um, but people that are on the fence, not knowing if they should or whatever, do it. Help save lives. You'll feel good. You'll feel good about yourself. You'll feel good about helping people. It's just a win-win-win situation. That's what it is. And uh, it makes me extremely happy that I do it. Again, all three wins. All right, so um, I was going to just do the the burrito and the fries, and then I was also going to grab a Crunch Wrap Supreme because that's my favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu. And uh, but when she talked me into having the box, I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds good. 
and uh, I won't do the box again because I had the hard shell tacos and the churros and the churros are uh, yuck. All right, so we gotta go home. I have to edit and try to upload this for tonight for the food for the food channel. And then uh, I think Paul and I are going for a walk at a different park this time and uh, not the 99 steps ravine kind of thing. Because I pretty much need exercise as much as possible, uh, especially after eating like that. Um, the last couple weeks I haven't uh, been at my 100% because uh, I've been trying to be as good as I can at home, eating as healthy as I can at home. But then I go out and do, you know, a 24 hour or um, a stealth camp or whatever. And it's a lot of food and it, it takes like weeks for me to shed that weight off. And uh, it's, a, it's a hard job and it's, I'm so wanting to be under 200 pounds. Uh, it's, it's difficult doing this job. And a part of me is thinking maybe for the month of February or something, just do like keto recipes or try to find restaurants that have keto menu items and 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 do that and do that twice a week um, again either do do my own recipes that people might want to share with me and uh, they'll get a big shout out um, I have a few in the in the bag already in the can I'm just trying to find the time to do them. Somebody sent me a, a chili recipe, but I have to like half it or less because the amount of food that he puts in his chili is probably meant to feed a small army. And uh, so I have to go through and divide everything. I'm not sure if it's gonna be in half or in thirds. It just depends on how much I think it's supposed to make. But he's like, get the biggest pot you can get. I'm like, I don't wanna have that much chili. I just want to have a, a good recipe. Anyway, all right, let's get go home. Let's get home, and uh, you guys can say hi to the cats. Hey, Sunny, what you doing? You cleaning again? You clean so much. You're already so pretty. You're so pretty, kitty. Sunny. Ooh. Not interested at all. In playtime, what? Come on, Sunny. Nope, Sunny is not in play mode. Poor kitty. <laughs> She's obsessed with cleaning that fur. Jeez. Hi, Sam. How you doing? You good boy? Tired? Did you do your walkies this morning? Did you go for your walk? Did you go for a walk with Carol? You sure did. Yeah, it was Carol over there. Uh huh. Yeah. You look so sad. You look so sad. Why? Why do you look sad? Silly Sam. It's now Monday morning. Right now, I'm working on what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this week. Uh, doing vlogs, uh, shooting food videos, trying to figure all that stuff out. Uh, so that's what I do first thing Monday morning after I shower and shave. Uh, during the weekend, Carol and I just kind of sat back, relaxed, um, didn't do a whole lot, played some Minecraft. Uh, I watched, um, I've been watching as many Star Wars as I can, like one or two every single night. And right now I'm up to uh, Return of the Jedi. So all the videos after that, are the, uh, or all the movies after that are my next step. Uh, but it's been nice actually watching everything in sequence. Uh, I guess pretty much from here forward, from this, from Return of the Jedi, it goes from Return of the Jedi to the Man uh, Mandalorian. And then that plays out. Uh, but of course, there's more seasons to the Mandalorian. Uh, the other thing I've kind of skipped over is the... Um, the Clone Wars, which is the animated series, and uh, I'm not sure. Uh, ben uh, used to watch that all the time, and uh, it was it looked good. I just I don't know. I just couldn't get into uh, watching the uh, the animated. It looks great, uh, but it's basically all about Anakin and, and uh, the Clone Wars. 
Uh, and I think that happened between, uh, that actually happened way back, didn't it? So it happened, yeah, the Clone Wars would have happened between episode uh, two and three. And I, of course I skipped over that. That's, I'm not sure how many seasons that is. So I just wanted to kind of stick to the movie line. Um, and then now I have to get into uh, the part a uh, bunch of videos with Ray in it, a bunch of videos, a bunch of features, movie features. And I'll finish off by marathoning the whole Star Wars series. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever done that. Watch all the Star Wars from beginning to end. Um, again, one of my favorites is Rogue One. Uh, I really enjoyed that that movie. It was, it was kind of more of an adult movie as opposed to a lot of, uh, you know, kid-type stuff. Uh, but again, it's... Uh, the original A New Hope, uh, all th all three of those uh, episode uh, four, five, and six are my three favorite episodes. Um, but Rogue One just had that extra grown up action kind of movie to it. Anyway, let me know if you agree or not in the in the comments below. That'd be great. All right, guys, got to get back to work, get more videos done, so you guys can have something to watch. All right, bye.